Reflux and Distillation When performing an experiment that uses a fume hood, make sure the fume hoods are switched on by flipping this switch up. Then, get your fume hood prepared, turning on the lights, raising the sash, and plugging in your hot plate. Return to your workstation and from your drawer, get your metal dish and spatula. From your micro kit, you will need a reflux condenser, thermometer adapter, your micro stir bar, which in this case is in a conical vial, and a round bottom flask. Remember to fill your metal dish with sand to create a sand bath and place it on the hot plate to begin heating. Grab a ring stand and three finger clamp and bring it to your fume hood. Then return to your workstation and grab your glassware and bring it to the fume hood. Now you will build your reflex apparatus. First prepare each piece of glassware by removing caps and o-rings and then replacing them at the correct connection joints. Place your flask or vial in the three finger clamp above the sand bath and add your micro stir bar. To the top of the reflux condenser, add the thermometer adapter. Remember to add the o-ring and cap first. Then, lower your completed reflux apparatus into the sand and use a spatula to ensure the sand is evenly distributed around the brown bottom flask. Addition of solids and or liquids. Lift the apparatus out of the sand bath and remove the condenser. This will give access to the round bottom flask where solid and liquids can be added. Here, a pre-measured solid is being carefully added with a funnel, followed by a pre-measured amount of liquid. Refer to your lab instructions for specific volumes and types of chemicals to add to your flask. Reattach the condenser and thermometer adapters and place them back in the sand bath. Turn both heating and stirring on. Again, refer to your lab instructions for specific temperature and the duration of reflux. How to set up a simple water-cooled reflux. You will need a thermometer, Turn it on and make sure it is in good working order and set to Celsius. Note the location of the magnet retriever as you'll need it later. From your micro kit you will need a micro stir bar, in this case it's stored in this conical vial, a jacketed reflux condenser, a conical vial or round bottom flask as the reaction vessel, and a thermometer adapter. You can then prepare the glassware by placing o-rings and caps at the appropriate joints, Gather the materials and take them to your fume hood where you have your pre-measured solid and or liquid chemicals and sand bath. Place your vial or round bottom flask in the sand bath and add the appropriate chemicals from your lab instructions. Don't forget to add a stir bar. Next, gather the water cooled supplies from the back of the lab. You will need a plastic tub, two lengths of gas tubing, the thin kind, and a water pump. Fill the plastic bin with tap water. Add enough water so that the pump is completely submerged under the water. Run the pump's electrical wire under the fume hood lip so it can be plugged into the outlet on the side of the hood. Attach the tubing in the following way. The outlet of the pump should be connected to the bottom of the condenser. This ensures that bubbles don't form and reduce the effectiveness of the condenser. The outlet of the condenser should be routed back to the tub of water. Continue to build your water-cooled apparatus with the vial or flask at the bottom, followed by the condenser, then the thermometer adapter. When you're ready to begin, plug the water pump into the outlet. A small amount of bubbling is normal at first. If it persists, you may have to relocate the pump so it is completely under the water. Turn the heat on and then add the thermometer to the apparatus. Clean up any tubing or electrical wires away from the hot plate to ensure they don't melt or cause an issue. Adding a Clayson adapter. A Clayson adapter is useful if you need to add material once the apparatus has been built, or if a chemical addition is needed partway through a reaction. In this case, the Clayson adapter is simply added between the vial or flask and the water jacketed condenser. Using a Hickman head for distillation. You'll need either glass or plastic pipettes, which can be typically found in the window. At your fume hood, you will attach the Hickman head to a round bottom flask that is in the sand bath. Next, add an air-cooled condenser and a thermometer adapter to that. Finally, add a thermometer and turn the heat on. Label the collection tubes in such a way that you will know which was your first, second, third, etc. collection. The distillate is condensed in the bottom portion of the Hickman head.
collect the distillate, unscrew the cap to your collection vial and the Hickman head. Use a pipette to collect the distillate. Note that if you're using a glass pipette to be very careful as it's very easy to break off the tip of the pipette into the Hickman head, which is not easy to remove. You may repeat this step as many times as necessary to collect different amounts or different fractions. 